All right, I don't know why, but every time I start a game, I need to clear my throat. Why don't I do that before? Anyways, let's go ahead and... And that's my daughter in the background clearing her throat. Let's go ahead and jump into this 1v1 matchup, Human versus Orc here on Springtime 1.3. Hitman spawning under the name Ethereal as the yellow orc on the bottom. Well, I'll say about the 4 o'clock position. Meanwhile, all the way on the other side of the map, here we are looking at Gush opening things up with an altar of kings as the green, um, as the green human. And interestingly enough, this looks like it is yes a rifleman paladin build again. No early farm, and um, lumber is going to be quite difficult. There's that barracks now, and just trying to set all of this down. Um, I know that this is a strategy that well Thorzane and a lot of other human players tried to play in the past, but. Is there actually a place for Paladin rifles here in patch in the latest patch? That is, I guess, the question. Um, it always seems like it should work. If Death Knight uh, Crypt Fiends works with Obsidian statues, why doesn't Paladin with Riflemen work um, with a Blood Mage acting as that mana battery support? That is the question there as we are now looking at a Farseer coming in from Hitman instead of what I would have expected the Blade Master. All right, so it looks like it is going to be Farseer with a single grunt and then following up with Headhunters. Hitman in the past has been known to really stay at Tier 2, but with that Headhunter strategy, um, the Troll Headhunter strategy, you really want to transition into Tier 3. We'll keep a close eye on whether or not Hitman goes to Tier 3 or stays at Tier 2 as we are getting up that Paladin and now those Riflemen. All right. The benefit of Paladin Riflemen is the synergy that the Paladin and the Riflemen have working together, being able to heal up those units and then using that de um, using that Devotion Aura to give additional armor. Um, simply, then you're able to micro those lower hit point Riflemen or medium hit point Riflemen back, and as they're getting chased and as they're taking a little bit of damage, all of, their, all of their brothers or comrades in arms are just shooting at the target that's trying to chase them. That's the reason why it works, and we'll see if that continues to work out well. All right, a Tuskar Spearman about to get taken down by a wolf. Is it going to get it? Oh, no, it is not. The Spearman survives with two hit points and now is retreating away. All right, this headhunter, is he going to poke that Spearman to give that little bit of experience? That is the question there. Yes, he will, and that Farseer does get that last bit of experience from far away. Meanwhile, Hitman now looking to clear out this center creep camp location, wanting to get to level 2. Paladin off on the other side of the map here does have a mantle of intelligence, which will help his mana regeneration and overall mana capacity. Trying to get those units to come across here, getting some damage, but Hitman says, you know what, I want to go after these wolves. Who's going to get the experience? There's the chain lightning Farseer takes that bit of experience there as more riflemen show up to the party. Who's going to get the shot there? Paladin continuing to holy light, trying to fight back its way through, perhaps going to try and deal a little bit of damage. Are we going to see a holy light on the riflemen? Down to 145 hit points. There's that holy light. There's level 2 now on the paladin who will be going to port devotion aura trying to save up just a little bit more there's another holy light right there grunge now trying to back away and you can see that rifleman well just constantly trying to get healed and now stays alive again that extra bit of armor from devotion aura coupled with those 200 hit point burst heals really making a big difference here all right who's going to get the last shot there it looks like the farce here got that last shot as the units are now retreating back no arcane vault for clarity potions we could be seeing militia now come online paladin wants to get off another holy light does not have enough mana as well the holy light i believe was adjusted for its overall mana or well well mana was adjusted for balance reasons all right farce you're not getting trapped into a corner is that rifleman going to be able to break free it looks like it will be able to get away from the farce here but the farce here may be able to still get the kill as the units are still trying to retreat back that one spirit wolf trying to get that last shot off there does not get the kill as all the units do teleport out paladin still sitting at level two farce are sitting at two and a half but well orc players knowing that their main heroes may take a good amount of damage, will be buying some healing salves very, very quickly. Meanwhile, Paladin needs to get some clarity potions, and that clarity potions will translate into more mana for the, or more hit points for those riflemen. But the Paladin really wanted to get to level three. We are getting up a lumber mill now, so um, lumber mill now, 
as well perhaps we're going to be getting some guard towers or there is just so many problems with lumber since you are trying to train up a rifleman at tier one without necessarily having the lumber upgrade to improve that harvesting overall farseer gets to level three level two spirit wolves now have that critical strike will be able to deal significant damage against those medium armored riflemen back down off to the nine o'clock position Paladin going to try and clear this out here. Perhaps try and shoot things down. Take down that Forest Troll High Priest. Also grabbed an Ice Troll Berserker. That Ice Troll Berserker going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage as this Rifleman down to 89 hit points. He has to be very careful. Cur carefully backing away and making sure to try and spread out that damage across as many units as possible so that another Scroll of Regeneration does work out paladin getting that pendant of energy that is going to be a big deal indeed can he get to level three here yes he does and now with a 400 hit point burst heal will will really be able to save some of that mana and as one heal can well fully heal up one rifleman or nearly full of fully heal up one rifleman coming back around wolves getting um, well cleaned up here pretty nicely meanwhile back off to the north farseer very aggressive with plus 16 attack on that farseer and a torrent chieftain following up behind we however are also getting armor upgrades as that blood mage is now being trained the riflemen have well four armor at this point and stage as we are looking at a couple or i believe that is just an illusionary rifleman now walking around there i thought he had multiple illusionary units oh that there's that paladin right there and take absorbing much of that damage switching off onto different targets now perhaps the paladin gonna try and aggro that polar bear as that polar bear is dealing significant damage off to that rifleman he needs to back off here or just perhaps take a 400 hit point burst here as the blood mage is on the battlefield a scroll of regeneration will be brought on over farseer now sitting at level four gonna allow the torrent chieftain to get to level two by creeping by himself Chain Lightning could uh, bounce around and cause some problems. Blood Mage going to come across the Farseer. No, they don't see each other, I don't think. As we're looking at the Paladin now down across here, continuing to do a little bit more creeping. All right, Rifleman. All right, Farseer. There's a Holy Light right there. Are we going to see perhaps yeah, there's that Tome of Intelligence? Siphon Mana. Spirit Wolves should be summoned up pretty quickly as we're looking at the Forest Troll Trappers getting cleaned up here. Paladin still has a decent amount of mana. And there's some more Siphon Mana right there. Blood Mage getting upside down on mana back over three or back up to 300 here and needs the Siphon Mana into that Paladin now to try and heal up the, these Riflemen. All right, there is that heal once more. That Siphon Mana... Um, well, going to still give quite a bit of mana across here as we're looking at Mantle and the Intelligence. Picked up, dropped back off. Should have dropped the Pendant of Energy and then picked it back up. That would have really given a significant amount of mana to the Paladin without um, well, having the Blood Mage lose out all that much. Blood Mage in that frontline position just saying, you know what, let me just siphon all of that mana away from you, Noel Warden. That is absolutely delicious, and I need it drastically. All right, you don't need your mana, do you, Farseer, as it tries to back away again. Farseer does and not get much experience off of that chain lightning though as we do see kodo beast now joining out on the battlefield kodo beast with raiders in snares we're going to be playing a game of hungry hungry kodos if that kodo can get inside that range there scroll of town portal trying to retreat back all right going to go ahead and eat a forest troll berserker instead as that forest troll berserker will will act as a little bit of a guide keeping track of where that orc army is allowing well gush to perhaps and find better opportunities to go in for other kills. We are looking at level one weapon upgrades nearly done. And what is this? A massive call to arms is the human player now going to perhaps try and tower his opponent um, with these units. Meanwhile, coming back across on the other side, riflemen are all here. There goes a couple of ensnares. Militia now going to be joining in on the battle. Militia, they normally don't, are not very strong. But remember, these militia have over about eight armor and they're going to be able to absorb a little bit of damage here. Scroll of healing would be perfect, but no scroll of healing in sight as units are just trying to wander around back and forth. Militia now being forced to um, retreat back here as the headhunters are poking back the other way. All right, grunts absorbing damage 
as well. More siphon mana trying to shut down the Farseer Blood Mage. Deading Sip or Deading and Snare no longer being able to siphon mana to try and give it back to that Paladin. There's some more siphon mana. Farseer now low on mana as we're looking at some more holy lights here. All right, Paladin still need two seconds, one second to get another holy light off. Perhaps gonna try and holy light off this Blood Mage here in just a moment. Perhaps needs to give some mana back across the other side as both sides are fighting their way through. There's some chain lightning bouncing around. Paladin still keeping strong as the um, Blood Mage may now have Banish and can banish out some of those other targets and make them not as useful. Paladin using that potion of healing able to well make this battle seemingly last forever in a day. 43 supply compared to 49, but it does not look good for human as riflemen are getting taken out. Paladin now currently out of mana, trying to fight back the other way. Paladin should be able to holy light that right low hit point rifleman there. That's going to get healed back up as the Blood Mage now tries to push back. All right, lo losing a good amount of militia. So if you look back here, um, if you look at the overall supply, 43 supply compared to 49, it feels like Hitman won that battle. But if you look at the army size difference, it's only 38 to 37 because Gush had invested very heavily into um, uh, peasants and then po completely pulled all of the peasants off the line. This may be a timing attack by Gush, knowing that since he has so little peasants, he could actually push in with a 49 supply, 50 supply army and have a 25% bonus overall in terms of actual fighting forces. However, that doesn't matter if you're going to get creepjacked, as we see here. Hitman now coming in from behind, perhaps going to cause some problems. There's some Chain Lightning. Medallion of Courage going to get picked up here. Siphon Mana, big scroll of healing news right there. Trying to siphon mana away there as a banish, a saving one of those low hit point riflemen. Both sides still fighting their way through. Headhunters trying to come back across here. More Siphon Mana, Torrin Chief, and now out of mana here as the Paladin needs to, needs to work overtime to try and heal up more of these units. Both sides still fighting their way through. Paladin trapped up into a corner and will be able to burst down these wolves pretty easily as the paladin has over 600 mana at level four between all of his items and over a thousand hit points Torrin chieftain now trying continue to try and fight here he does have a potion of invulnerability where is all of this going to go down as the chain lightning going across multiple riflemen again 43 supply compared to 46 both sides grunts are getting taken down right um Rifleman getting taken down, more siphon mana, shutting down that Torrent Chieftain. And without that mana, all he is is a walking endurance aura as he's unable to really do much of those paladin is he going to try and yes gets a holy light off going to turn down around finish off the raider as now we see level three on the blood mage level three blood mage means even faster um well mana mana drained there as we are looking at more and more damage getting focused down onto that paladin paladin does not have any more recovery items paladin comes across with a holy light there's another siphon mana in to that a paladin as the paladin is now trying to go after some of these headhunters who do not I repeat, do not have the Berserker upgrade, so their hit points are actually rather low. Kodo Beast, is it going to get burst down quickly? 381 hit points. One more round of shots from those Riflemen should take it down. There's level 5 now on the Paladin, who goes for level 3 Devotion Aura. Now we are up to plus 5 armor across all of these units, and they are simply not falling apart. Raider now trying to come back across, and Gush is playing this micro-intensive style very, very well, with a 40 supply army going up against 31. And this is all because he's banked up so much lumber, he could actually sacrifice those peasants. And now actually takes the overall supply lead as well. All right, two, two upgrades on all of these units. One peasant still working overtime, wondering where the rest of his brethren are to work. But nope, he's been holding steady at 200 lumber for a, a fairly good amount of time. Now going to be using Scroll of Regeneration, perhaps and Clarity Potions as well. Now, you look at the strategy, Gush, understanding the principles, transferred all of the, um, all of the mana items to the Blood Mage, and then siphoned it in, and then gave... Um, they gave them all back. That's the reason why the Paladin now has 600 mana and will be able to get off um, 8 to 10 Holy Lights in the next battle before the Blood Mage even siphons in even more. All right, dual level 4 heroes going up against a level 5, level 3. These, um, well, these riflemen have 35 armor reduction and 600 or 400 hit point heals. That is quite a bit there as that Kodo Beast is not spotted. All right, Torin Chieftain and Farseer. However, both can get to level five. And talking about that Farseer, plus 25 damage on that Farseer. That range, that ranged damage in, in 
the 60 range against those units may become quite a bit of a problem hitman correctly having the reinforced defenses if not this could have been a completely different fight here as the burrows would have been taking uh, full damage as well peon quickly getting taken down here are we going to be going into an engagement blood mage in that frontline spot does have siphon mana pretty much scaring the Torin chieftain away as the units are now trying to retreat back all right gonna go ahead you can see one round of attack onto a grunt that focus fire so high that grunt pretty much walking into the firing range in line of sight of those riflemen siphon mana stomp a massive stomp and now in comes shadow wolf Holy Light trying to save Kodo, but he's going to try and t well, dine and dash and does exactly that as both sides are still fighting their way through. There goes another stomp as the Blood Mage purposely tries to get a little bit of range there and using those scrolls of healing effectively to try and counteract those chain lightnings. No more siphon mana off of that Torn Chief and needs to go after the Farseer. Farseer is purposely dumping all of the mana as well as we're still looking at this battle go through. More Holy Light coming across. 40 supply compared to 44. A bit of an uphill climb right now as the reinforcements of Hitman are going to be coming in fast than for um, than for gush so both sides still fighting their way through a little bit of range trying to retreat back are there any more consumable items to heal no there are not just scroll of regeneration which does not work well in combat more holy light right there critical strikes are taking big chunks of hit points off of the riflemen but is it enough there as we're going to see another holy light siphon mana away unable to get off a chain lightning well it looks like it will be able to get off a chain lightning here there it goes bouncing across all of those targets low hit point grunt looks like it could get bursted down right there down to 42 hit points is it going to be able to retreat away torrent chieftain purposely getting in harm's way there as both sides are fighting all right was scroll of regeneration used no a clarity potion i thought or this healing salve was used on the farce here as a torrent chieftain oh gonna get a mud golem mud golem now slowing down the torrent chieftain as the riflemen are trying to get in front of that mud golem to cause some problems gush purposely hiring a tavern unit or not a, a mercenary to get in a little bit of damage here as a grunt's gonna get taken down level four now on the blood mage both sides still fighting their way through are we going to see that rifleman get taken out there a little bit of damage it finally gets taken down but traded for a grunt both sides still continuing the fight and hitman suddenly drops the 29 supply but well gonna be losing perhaps or taking some damage in transit on these riflemen as that rifleman gets healed up again all right off to the north though hitman is trying to build a ninja expansion trying to take his opponent's expansion location meanwhile the mercenaries are joining in on the fight for a gush and this may be that extra little bit of power that he needed to threaten his opponent and push him over the edge the scroll of regeneration was in fact very useful holding on to it as there was a little bit of reprieve when hitman backed away allowing all of these riflemen to get back up all right one grunt already taken down another grunt gonna get taken down pretty easily as well paladin still fighting his way through are we gonna see yeah grunt taken down mud golem quickly getting ensnared as that is a priority target even a bit of overheal there on that 240 hit point mud golem but still a priority target nonetheless damage still getting racked up here paladin sitting at level five is he gonna get to level six and if he does get to level six are we gonna perhaps see resurrection on the table as well getting back all of these riflemen on that have been lost all right grunt taking quite a bit of damage holy light perhaps onto that rifleman no banish in a time to save it from the auto attack followed by the holy light as that banish was um well a split second earlier as we're still getting things underway low hit point grunt trying to retreat back paladin is 52 experience shy from being able to use a resurrection and now sitting at 54 over 54 supply trying to finish things off back off to the north here well trying to hire up more mercenaries and as the paladin gets in the position here blood mage is in position as well both sides still fighting still 52 experience away holy light continuing to save as the paladin just pushing forward perhaps taking down orc burrows would be enough there's a raider right there are we going to see a mud golem slowed no we are not and no slow onto that raider that raider would have been or and or grunt would have been enough to give actually don't know raider and grunt still not enough to give um, as there is a blood mage and a paladin out on the battlefield all right both sides fighting their way through low hit point grunt can easily get taken down one uh, one more shot on that of, well grunt could get finished off as well blood mage could be in a little bit of trouble potion of lesser invulnerability there's level six on the paladin is the paladin are are we going to see resurrection no level three holy light instead perhaps knowing that there's not enough corpses out here onto the battlefield as the torrent chieftain now trying to fight his way through and that is gonna be the game gush 
with Paladin Rifles once again, playing a very, a very, very micro-intensive style, keeping all of those units alive and, well, just having them dance. It almost feels like Dragoon dancing in StarCraft Brood War, coupled with being able to heal heal them and that's what we saw there those riflemen actually with a smaller footprint than undeads crypt fiends and death knight are able to maneuver a bit better and even though there aren't obsidian statues and frost armor to couple with it gush able to play and a micro that extremely extremely well let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it